Hello dear friends, welcome to the lecture of real analysis. We are studying the chapter of Riemann integral and in this lecture we shall study what is the upper and lower sum of a function. In earlier lecture we have studied sets of major 0. So, these are the requisites for the definition of Riemann integral and we are going to use the upper and lower sum to define Riemann integration. Here I have written few definitions and uh, these are easy to understand. So, we shall see the meaning of these. The first definition is let j, this is a script letter j or curly letter j, it is used uh, to denote any bounded interval of real numbers and f be a real valued function on this uh, interval j, bounded interval, it is interval of real number and it is bounded and we will uh, always consider the interval which is bounded uh, of real numbers and function is also of real numbers or re, uh, the function is real valued function on this interval j. We define three terms. This is capital M of f on j interval j, small f of m on interval j and omega of f on interval j as follows. So, uh, capital M of f on interval j is defined as L u b means least upper bound of f of x where x belongs to the interval. So, this is the least upper bound or uh, roughly the meaning of least upper bound is the maximum value of the function and small f of uh, small m of f on j is defined as greatest lower bound. This is the uh, brief form of greatest lower bound x belongs to j greatest lower bound of f of x where x belongs to the interval j. Interval is first fixed bounded interval and uh, next is omega f on j is equal to the difference of this capital M and small m. So, what is uh, the meaning of this uh, capital M will be least upper bound of the function, function's value on the interval j and uh, that means actually uh, or uh, maximum value of the function. So, if you consider uh, a set as uh, say A is the set having the points say 5, 7, 8, etcetera, uh, 11, 15 and uh, what will be the least upper bound of A, least bound upper bound of A, uh, the set A will be the maximum value of in the set that is 15. And if you consider the greatest lower bound of A, then that will be the lower bound and greatest because uh, 15 is a lower uh, upper bound and uh, next uh, will also be upper bounds. All numbers greater than 15, greater than or equal to 15 will be the upper bounds of this and least of uh, it is 15. So, it is unique. We have studied earlier the axiom of LUB and GLB least upper bound and the greatest lower bound are unique numbers and for this set it is 15 that is uh, and therefore we are saying uh, LUB means maximum value this is the maximum value and uh, uh, for greatest lower bound that is uh, here 5 it is greatest value because 4, 3 etcetera smaller numbers less than or equal to 5 are all lower bounds but the greatest is 5. So, this is uh, actually the minimum value in the set which is taken as greatest lower bound and least upper bound of the set is the uh, maximum value of the set. And uh, now uh, it is functions value we have defined here. So, this is the meaning of uh, great least upper bound and greatest lower bound. Now, what is the, the meaning here? It is of considered for the function f of x. That means, when f of x has maximum value that is denoted by m and if the minimum value of f is denoted by small m. For example, if you uh, we draw this figure, suppose these are the axes we shall consider and this is a function, this is a function, uh, its graph we shall consider in the interval uh, j, uh, j and uh, suppose this interval is j that is 
uh, so this point may be taken as A and B and I shall consider the, this interval J is equal to the closed bounded interval A B. And uh, now uh, that interval I have taken here is J is the closed bounded interval A B. Now you see what is the maximum value of the function that occurs at this point. If this is the curve y is equal to f of x. The maximum value in this interval we have to consider and that is the y is the maximum y is the value of the function means where y is maximum the ordinate is maximum that is the maximum value of function and it it is this. So, maxima minima actually we have studied earlier. So, this is m value and what, uh, where the function has minimum value at this point that is m. So, th this is the meaning in the interval uh, the function takes uh, some uh, values which uh, uh, the function is continuous and it takes every value in that the maximum value is taken as capital M and the minimum value is taken as small m and what is uh, omega? Omega is the difference between these two values that means it will be the difference between uh, capital M and small m. So, this is the meaning of capital M and uh, small m and omega is the difference between maximum value and minimum value that is capital M and small m. Further, we shall uh, see the definition of a subdivision here. A subdivision of the closed bounded interval a b is finite subset x naught x 1 up to x n of the interval a to b such that a is equal to x naught. The first value is uh, x naught, x naught is equal to a and then x naught is less than x 1 is less than and so on uh, less than x n and x n is the last value. So, that means if you uh, see this interval of real numbers closed bounded interval of real numbers and the first value is x naught we shall denote and we will divide the interval in parts or that is subdivision. So, the this is x 1, next is x 2 and so on. The last one we have denoted by x n. So, that means this has uh, the division, these are the points of division of the closed bounded interval a to b and that we are here x naught is less than x 1, x 1 is less than x 2 and so on is less than x n and x n is the last value. So, that is the meaning of subdivision. So, this is a subdivision of the interval a to b that means the interval a to b is divided in parts and further uh, we write if sigma we denote this subdivision by sigma. Greek letters is used to denote uh, the uh, a subdivision. If sigma is a subdivision of the closed bounded interval a b then the closed intervals closed intervals we denote first interval we denote by i 1 which will be if you see here this is i 1 this interval is i 1 x naught to x 1. The second uh, interval is denoted by i 2. So, this will be x 1 to x 2. So, this is first interval i 1 this is i 2 and next will be x 3 that is uh, uh, i 3 that will be x 2 to x 3 and so on. The last will be i n and that will be this point is this point is earlier to x n that is x n minus 1 and the interval here this is i n. So, that means uh, uh, first we consider the points of division and by this uh, subdivision we will get the component intervals. So, a is equal to uh, these, uh, this uh, a interval a to b has the component intervals i 1 which is x naught to x 1 i 2 here we have denoted which is x 1 to x 2 and so on. So, this is these are the component intervals of sigma. So, first it is a division subdivision we have considered in that subdivision there are component intervals. Now, further if sigma and tau are two subdivisions the subdivisions are denoted by Greek letters sigma and tau or in this uh, in this book they are denoted by Greek letters. The book we are following is methods of real analysis by Richard R. Goldberg. If sigma and tau are two subdivisions of the closed interval a comma b we say that tau is refinement of sigma if sigma is subset of tau and that is tau is obtained from sigma by adding more points of 
subdivision. If you uh, consider this as sigma, then tau is added uh, by, by uh, tau is obtained by adding some more points of division, and that is uh, refinement. So this will be uh, called refinement of sigma. If we get, uh, if we, if this is again divided in uh, uh, by another uh, points, adding these points, then that becomes tau. So this uh, original subdivision is not changed, but some more points are added in that division, and that means the intervals become uh, smaller. The component intervals become smaller, then the uh, subdivision is uh, refinement, refinement of earlier division. So. Uh, some points are added, not uh, necessary each is divided, few points 1, 2, if 1, 2 are added also, 1 or 2 points are added that is also a refinement and that means uh, these points uh, will form by adding these points denoted by uh, red pen will be the points of addition and the entire will be uh, denoted by subdivision tau. Or so, I think this is uh, clear that means uh, earlier we have denoted uh, sigma by this. This is sigma and there are some components i1, i2 etcetera and to obtain tau for the same subdivision the points are to be the first points will remain the same original these are the points and we add some more points. So, this is sigma, but if I add the points uh, in this few points mean and then this will become tau. So, this subdivision is here and that means we have sigma is subset of tau. So, this is uh, the meaning of subdivision and refinement of subdivision.